Bereshith, Genesis 18. And Yahuwah appeared unto him in the plains of Mamre, and he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day. And he lift up his eyes and looked, and lo, three men stood by him. And when he saw them, he ran to meet them from the tent door and bowed himself toward the ground and said, My Adonai, if now I have found favor in your sight, pass not away, I pray you, from your servant. Let a little water, I pray you, be fetched and wash your feet and rest yourselves under the tree. And I will fetch a morsel of bread and comfort ye your hearts. After that ye shall pass on, for therefore are ye come to your servant. And they said, So do as you have said. And Avraham hastened into the tent unto El Sarah, and said, Make ready quick three measures, rather quickly three measures of fine meal. Knead it and make cakes upon the hearth. And Avraham ran unto the herd and fetched a calf, tender and good, and gave it unto a young man, and he hastened to dress it. And he took butter and milk, and the calf which he had dressed, and set it before them, and he stood by them under the tree, and they did eat. And they said unto him, where is Sarah, your woman? And he said, Behold, in the tent. And he said, I will certainly return unto you according to the time of life. And lo, Sarah, your woman, shall have a son. And Sarah heard it in the tent door, which was behind him. Now Avraham and Sarah were old and well stricken in age. And it ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of women. Therefore, Sarah laughed within herself, saying, After I am waxed old, shall I have pleasure, my Lord being old also? And Yahuwah said unto El Avraham, Wherefore did Sarah laugh, saying, Shall I of a surety bear a child which am old? Is anything too hard for Yahuwah? At the time appointed, I will return unto you according to the time of life, and Sarah shall have a son. Then Sarah denied, saying, I laughed not, for she was afraid. And he said, Nay, but you did laugh. And the men rose up from thence and looked toward Chadam. Saddam, and Avraham went with them to bring them on the way. And Yahuwah said, Shall I hide from Avraham that thing which I do? Seeing that Avraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation, and all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him. For I know him, that he will command at his children and at his household after him. And they shall guard the way of Yahuwah to do justice and judgment, that Yahuwah may bring upon Avraham at that which he has spoken of him. And Yahuwah said, Because the cry of Saddam and Morah is great, and because their sin is very grievous, rather grievous, I will go down now and see whether they have done altogether according to the cry of it which is come unto me. For if not, I will know. And the men turned their faces from thence and went toward Saddam, and Avraham stood yet before Yahuwah. And Avraham drew near and said, Will you also destroy the righteous? with the wicked? Peradventure there be fifty righteous within the city, 
will you also destroy and not spare the place for the 50 righteous that are therein? That be far from you to do after this manner, to slay the righteous with the wicked, and that the righteous should be as the wicked, that be far from you. Shall not the judge of all the earth do right? And Yahuwah said, If I find in Saddam fifty righteous within the city, then I will spare all the place for their sakes. And Avraham answered and said, Behold now, I have taken upon me to speak unto Adonai, which is which am but dust and ashes. Peradventure there shall lack five of the fifty righteous. Will you destroy at all the city for lack of five? And he said, If I find there forty and five, I will not destroy it. And he spoke unto him yet again and said, Peradventure there shall be forty found there. And he said, I will not do it for forty's sake. And he said unto him, O let Adonai, rather, O let not Adonai be angry, and I will speak. Peradventure there shall thirty be found there. And he said, I will not do it if I find thirty there. And he said, Behold now, I have taken upon me to speak unto Adonai. Peradventure there shall be twenty found there. And he said, I will not destroy it for twenty's sake. And he said, Oh, let not Adonai be angry, and I will speak yet but this once. Peradventure ten shall be found there. And he said, I will not destroy it for ten's sake. And Yahuwah went away, rather went his way, as soon as he had left communing with El Avraham. And Avraham returned unto his place.